Hello YouTubers! As you know, the majority of lithium-ion batteries charge and voltage is 4.2 volts, but there are also several high voltage models designed to be charged at up to 4.45 or 4.4 volts. I've already tested a 4.45 volt Senyo UR1650 ZTA cell, and today I'm going to show you another high voltage cell with very close specifications, LG E1. It's a 4100 mAh rated low drain cell supporting 4.65 amp maximum discharge rate. I'm gonna test it at both 4.2 and 4.45 volts and compare the results. Let's take a quick look at my testing conditions and move on. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement discharge current up to 20 amps and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrees and before each discharging cycle the battery was charged at its standard charging current which is mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left for one hour minimum as the standard requires. After discharging cycle the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The cell which I've tested has the following marking. LG ABE1 1865 0247I048AB. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Nominal energy 12 Watt hours, minimum energy 11.6 Watt hours, nominal voltage 3.75 volts, standard charge current 0.93 amps, maximum charge current 1.55 amps, charge cutoff current 50 milliamps, charge end voltage 4.45 volts, maximum continuous discharge current 4.65 amps, discharge cutoff voltage 2.75 volts, AC impedance less than 70 milliohms, maximum weight 49 grams. The measured weight of my cell was 47.52 grams and the measured DC internal resistance was around 56 milliohms at 3.1 amps in fully charged condition. First let's look at the results at 3.45 volt charge. At 0.2C or 0.62 amps LG ICR 1860E1 gave out 3008 mAh or 11.42 Wh. At 2A discharge 2941 mAh or 10.62 Wh. At 5A 2648 mAh or 8777 mWh. Now let's take a look at the results at 4.2V charge. At 0.62 amps, it gave out 2620 milliamp hours or 9818 mWh. At 2 amps, 2547 milliamp hours or 9118 mWh. At 5 amps, 2328 milliamp hours or 7623 mWh. Now let's see how much we're gonna lose if we charge it at 4.2 volts. At 0.62 amp discharge rate, we're gonna have about 87% of the original capacity or 86% of the original energy. At 2 amp discharge rate, respectively 87 and 86%. And at 5 amps, 88 and 87%. So we can say that we're gonna lose from 13 to 14% if we charge it at 4.2 volts instead of 4.45 volts. So, LG E1 is an interesting cell for those who need a high voltage, low drain cell. That's all I can tell about this guy. 
Like this video if you find it useful and interesting, subscribe to my channel and leave your thoughts in the comments. Bye bye!